Dear CG Thinker, welcome. Welcome in this new daily video about Fluent Blender and the art of house modeling. And today I want to speak to you about uh, speed and how to use Fluent faster. After a week of modeling tips, I think it's, uh, it's uh, the good time to speak about that. We will start to be more fluent with it. And um, instead of click, F, cut and start your cut, if you check the preferences of Fluent, and I know, and I know, a lot of people never open the preferences, but you will find three shortcuts for the basic cuts of Fluent. The first shortcut is Alt F, Alt F, Alt F. How it works? You don't need to select anything. Just place the cursor over an object and press Alt F. The tools of Fluent will be start for the object which is under the cursor, okay? After the cut, the slice. The slice is Control F, Control F. It works like the previous. Just place the cursor over an object and press Control F. The last operation that you can make with the shortcut with Fluent is the inset. After Alt F, Control F, the next one is Shift F. Shift F to call it like this. Shift F. Shift F. Okay? Shift F. So you have three shortcuts, the cut, the slice, and the, the inset, Alt F, Control F, and Shift F. Okay, continue with the shortcut. Instead of press F, show hide boolean object, and this operation is a very, very common operation. So you have a shortcut, um, and this, this shortcut is this K. I don't know what's the good word <laughs> for that, so you can see on the screen. Just press on it, just press it to show and hide your boolean object. Okay? Just that. The next point, uh, what is it? Uh, ta -ta -ta. Preset, preset, yes, ready. Preset, what is preset? A preset, uh, to understand the best is to see. I will make a cut, and of course, I use my shortcut now, like this. And I will make a first bevel, okay. This is my cut. Now, I want to reuse the same setting for another cut. I display my Boolean object with the shortcut. Uh, I select the Boolean object, press F, and I will use Make Clear Preset. Just click on it. And now, if you make a new cut, as you can see, the same solidify, the same bevel size, everything is reused and you can use it again and again and again you can use it with a circle but before i will clear my preset and for that i will hold the shift key and click on the button now if i press uh, if i make a new cut for this time a circle like this second bevel okay I select my boolean object and press F, make presets. And my next circle will have exactly the same setting. But don't forget to clear the preset after the use. Press F, hold, shift, and click on this button. Okay. Now if I remake a new cut, everything back as usual. Next point. The next point is how to clear your drawing without exit fluent. For example, uh, I'm going to make a cut uh, on this object. I display my grid, for example. Uh, I start to draw a rectangle. But, ah, no, I don't want to draw this rectangle here. How to clean my drawing, but I don't want to exit fluent. Just press again air. Air. Okay, it's exactly the same for every uh, other shape drawing tool. 
press S, click, 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 S again, click, 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 S again, press C, and repress C, repress C, and you can restart your drawing without exit fluent. Oh, we speak about, uh, we speak about drawing. I have another tips to don't, uh, to don't cancel fluent and remake your cut. If you want to make uh, a shape, a shape drawing, okay, and oh, finally you want to back, use the backspace to remove the previous, to remove the previous vertices and continue your drawing. Okay, so backspace to remove the last vertices. The last tips for me, it's obvious, but I already see some people never try that. Uh, but if you display the grid on, on the face, you don't need to kit fluent to redraw the grid on another face. Just remake your right click, right click, right click, right click again. Don't need to kit fluent to change the grid position. That was my few tips to use Fluent faster in your project, but don't be afraid. I won't use it in the next tutorial uh, because it's impossible to follow the tutorial with shortcut. I hope continue to help you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Digital, share, knowledge, grow together.